What is up, everybody? Uh, this is going to be a vlog showing you how I get 20,000 steps uh, every single day. So this week, I set myself the goal to get 20,000 steps every day. And next week, I set myself the goal to get 30,000 steps every single day. So I'm just going to vlog, show you um, how I do it. Put one foot in front of the other. That's as uh, simple as that. Uh, and uh, yeah, so it's around 10 o'clock, 10 a.m. in the morning. And uh, I'm just going to go for a walk around the park. Uh, and after I'm going to get a smoothie, I'll probably go for another walk. And in the meantime, what I'm doing is I'm listening to an audio, audio book on uh, songwriting. Because I'm doing a course on songwriting. I'm always learning new things. Just, I just enjoy learning. So that's one of the things I would say. If you are walking a lot, uh, find something uh, like an audiobook or something you want to learn and just simply listen to it. Listen to it as you walk. And it's a good way to take your mind off, you know, the amount of steps you have to do and uh, come out into nature listen to the birds and just enjoy it so let's get it so I've got about uh, 6,550 steps I'm gonna put it somewhere here um, and uh, generally speaking whenever you're going for 20,000 steps a day you want to do your best to try to get around 10,000 before like 12 to do your best and then uh, if you've got that then getting another 10,000 won't you know seem as hard but if it's like if it's like six o'clock and you're not even on 10,000 um, uh, God, you're just gonna make it a lot harder for yourself so that's, that's the aim try to get 10,000 steps uh, before noon and uh, and then do your best if you if you're working, um, you know, nine to five. I don't know, maybe walk to the coffee machine, or if your job you're standing up, just try to actually do more in work, or even just dance around. <laughs> Dancing helps, but just do whatever you can just to get the extra steps in. And uh, at the end of uh, your work shift, you know what I'm gonna do at the end of work shift is you know just go for another walk or. Uh, I'm going to the gym actually later, so I'll be doing that, but just do whatever you can to get the steps in. You're wondering what to eat while you're walking 20,000 steps plus a day. Um, well, you better be smashing in the carbohydrates because if you're doing something like a cardiovascular exercise, like walking 10 miles a day, you want to be making sure to replenish your glycogen stores, um, things like potatoes, rice, corn, sweet potatoes, bananas, dates, berries, etc. Gives you the energy you need to be able to actually get you through the day. Or what you'll find is if you don't eat enough and you're trying to walk this much, you're going to be tired. You're going to be tired. You're not going to last. You're not going to last. And you're definitely not going to be able to do uh, 10 miles a day consistently. Mm -mm. Eh -eh. No, sir. No, sir. So this is bananas, dates, and uh, mixed berries. So antioxidants, tasty. Get it in. Yeah, so been to work. Flash forward, boom. Been to work, uh, and then I went to the gym, uh, did a spin class. Uh, now I am walking some more. Woo! Okay, so I'm having food at a friend's. And uh, it's a good way to get extra steps, to make random excuses, just to, to go um, to, to walk, to walk out to visit your mates that live uh, further away from you. So uh, that's what I'm gonna do. So I got something like 2.5 miles to do, which is which is very simple to do. And uh, uh, I don't even have to do it all walking. I could do some of it dancing, the music. Because dancing is a good way to get extra steps in. Uh, one thing I have learned, walking 20,000 steps 
every day for a month is that no matter what way you try to get extra steps, it all requires work. The only way uh, <laughs> this is gonna like require no work is if you give your phone or your Fitbit watch to your friend who then does it for you. That is the only way it's gonna take no work. But apart from that, it will always take effort and work. But that doesn't mean you can't make it fun. That doesn't mean you can't make it enjoyable. That doesn't mean um, you can't get a lot out of the experience. And don't forget, you will get a lot out of the experience in terms of how good you feel because you're releasing endorphins um, and that makes you feel good. That makes you feel good. So here we got a, a, a korma. This be a korma. Carbon I've always got the rice, rice on hand. That's what we need. Carbon up, carbon up. Especially if you're doing these steps, man. You gotta, you gotta get the carbs in. Mmm. This is it. This is how you carb up. This is how you get the steps in. And the nutrition in. Oh, and the fiber in. Oh, oh. Rice, yes.